Welcome to Journey Now, a podcast about following Jesus that takes on serious issues without ever taking itself too seriously. Each week, the pastors, staff, and friends of Journey Church in Brentwood, Tennessee, gather to catch up, share life together, and laugh a little. Okay, a lot, maybe too much. But along the way, they also explore what it really means to bring heaven to earth, share Jesus' hospitality, and live cross-shaped lives. Part babble, part Bible, and occasionally even thoughtful and entertaining, this is Journey Now. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Ready, Edwin? Ready, Edwin? Here goes. Hey. Hey, we're going to do no no turn in the podcast. Another journey now podcast. We wish hit this on. Hop off. Hey, 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 it's election day. Schools are not in session. And Seth Erie said, Dad, yes. I, want I want to do the podcast. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. Well, who else is in the room with us? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Uh, it's me. Kevin's here. Kevin's here. Kevin. Susie's here. Susie. Tim Tim's here. Tim Aaron is here. Edwin's, Edwin's here. here. And Fabi's here. And the floppies are here. Now. Wow. What a crowd. A things we need to establish right off. Right? Yes. Okay. First of all. This this is the airing of grievances against Susie Lind. Yes, oh, Susie Lind. Yeah. So I was happened, waiting for this. I was what, surprised at how nice he was being what, to me. What already. happened this weekend <laughs> where Susie Lind disappointed us? Oh uh, no, no Susie Shema. We, we forgot to do Shema. She forgot to do <gasps> the Shema. And you, Susie, you. I know. Was he you there and no, ready? No, he sent me a video. He, he sent a video. Oh no. <laughs> you you were you were ahead of it. Yep. You were, you were thinking he sent about you it. a video. Yep. yep, he did. He did. And yes. and with and Dad texted, use this at your own discretion. I'm uh, so sorry, and Seth. Susie made a point. <laughs> <choice>. so, <laughs> so, so do we forgive her? Yes. Yeah. Do we yes. love her? Yes. Yes, we do. So, oh, so thank okay. you. <laughs> thank yeah. you for the That'd grace. Really Let's talk about dance party. Let's talk about dance party. This was the other oh. piece of agenda we've got. Oh. Wait a minute, yep. dance party. So we drove up. Uh, to go see uh, Nate, big Nate, big yep. Nate, uh, our oldest son, his uh, big brother. Yes, and so he calls it the drive too long. It's a six-hour drive. Yeah, yes. Yes. yep, we call yep. It the drive too long. <laughs> yep, and we have stops. We make a long way to Chipotle, and I mean, you know, we do the thing. But yes. we came across a uh, a gas station in Kentucky. I wish I would have known. The wow. gas station in Kentucky? Or, yes. Uh, the one. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. And, and, and what happened, Seth? Because we have the dance party. They have the dance party. So there, there's a big uh-huh. red button in the bathroom that says, do not, that says, do not push this button. Do not mm. push that button. And so what do we do? Because we wish dance. We push the button and then two... Two, two, um, what, two disco balls, disco balls, <laughs> and dancing queen plays. Wow! Yes. Yeah, the lights go off. in the bathroom. In the bathroom. That's Top amazing. Top of the bathroom. Yeah. And how many times did you end up doing that? I like five. <laughs> wow. Where in Kentucky? Yeah, I remember. I wish I would have paid more attention. That, that makes the first me time nervous. You were there. Yes. And you, you dancing weren't expecting queen. that. No. Like this <laughs> not. same song every time. I, I don't know. Oh, he said know. he did it five times. He, he did yeah. five. Times. Yeah. That's the key. That's the key Was it the same song every time? Yeah, I mean, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. So, good question. And and even better answer. Yes. Even better. <laughs> is the bathroom like? Is it? A, <laughs> Where are we is going? It men's bathroom and women's bathroom, or is it like a gender neutral bathroom? Ooh, um, gosh, camera. He gave the camera a oh, wink, camera just camera so we wink. know. Just, Ooh, he's hug with your eyes. Hug with your eyes. Hug the camera with your eyes, buddy. Yes. All right. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so I was not involved in this okay. scenario. I just want to know if there's like a different song in up, each one. I was filling up the tank. Okay. So who um, told you about it? Um, Seth. Okay. Like running out dancing. And then... Um, oh. yeah, <laughs> oh. You can see that as he watches himself on yeah. the screen. Yes. And, uh, and Mama Bear. And Ma- oh, and Mama Bear. okay. So, yes. All right, Seth. Yeah. Um, Kevin had a big weekend. Let's ask about Kevin. Yes. Kevin. <laughs> yes. How was you again? It was Kevin. it was in New York City. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yes. My daughter Alyssa Ooh, was running nice. the New York City Marathon. Oh, good job. Good job. Yeah. Did she, did she finish? She did. She was in the top forty thousand. Wow. So there were fifty five thousand racers. Wow. So she did she finished. 
Sounds like my IQ. It, it, <laughs> top 20, but 55, she was <laughs> she was really tired. I bet she was. Did you hold up signs? Kevin? We did. We had signs. Uh. I have pictures, but yes. Did you see any really good signs? Oh yes. No. Some I can't repeat. Okay. Yes. But there was um what I found interesting is there's a lot of people along the race line in race tr- uh, race course race yep, course. route the race huh? route yeah. that are handing out things. Like the, Lissa said there were a couple people handing out licorice like Twizzlers <laughs> so she was okay. like I'm That's in Hershey right, right, yeah. right, right. She's like you. Um, But then there were uh, Some other things Like there was Some people did the beer challenge So every yeah, mile They got yep, a beer yep, yep. Um, Every wow. mi- every mile They got mm. fireball yeah, yeah, Ooh, Some were fireball. Pretty that inebriated be, By the time really they hard. Yeah 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 so, yeah so they had set up Stations all over the place Where And Alyssa was like Oh my word yeah, yeah. That last <laughs> The last four miles Were yeah. a little wild Yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I saw one sign that said, um, <laughs> y'all could have gone to therapy instead. <laughs> I thought that was funny. That's um, funny. But, I mean, that's a huge weekend. And oh, what yeah. A, what a spectacle. Oh, it is. It is a spectacle. There's... I saw a Piper sign that said, my mom is my hero. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. yes. Let's yeah. go. Yep. Susie P. Lynn. Yes. Let's go, Susie P. Lynn. Yes. 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 Tell us about your weekend. <laughs> my weekend was good. Yeah, I was just here <laughs> while you guys weren't. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> right. I, you know, this, me and Tim, yeah, we, we, we held, held it down. Before. We held you it down. And your Kindle really did die. <laughs> My Kindle died, and Tim praised the Lord for yeah, it. Yeah. I, I was so thankful. It was, you know yes. what? It was funny. That's I true. So I, I had Oof. it on in the background while I was, I was just doing a little things. bit of background. These people are trying to get me to teach without notes. That's all I'm going to say. Well, no, that's not true. No, that's not true. <laughs> I'm not. I'm You're not, not. I'm not. I'm not. not even part well, of my uh, spadiggle. Mike is. Yeah. But but there, there was a there was a difference in verbal. Yep. Um. Uh. What would I say? Modulation. Oh. When the notes died, uh-huh. and you were just and you knew it. You knew the stuff. There I you did. go. I knew, you knew the, the stuff. stuff. Yeah. And then, but your voice. Verbal was modulation. So, you were so much like Mike. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. Yeah. I was. <laughs> I, I didn't yeah. have the words for it, but that was. I'm more yeah. curious. Your IQ might be higher your than you think. Died. I know. Yeah. I don't know. It failed me. Did you shake it? I think it, it was. Oh, no, I didn't. See, I would have shaked it. I would have shaken it. I think. Yeah. It was. Yeah. We were talking about powers of principle. What do you think? I'm sorry. I yes, boo. What boom. did you think it was? I don't know what it was. It's just like I could not get it to like, I couldn't get the screen to do what I needed it to do to see my notes. And so I was like, well. Here we go. Yeah. And she said it. Yeah. She said, oh, what am I going to do without my notes? And then, oh, she kept preaching. Yeah. And it was great. So that's what you do without your notes. Yeah. It was really great. So good. I realized that my notes are like a security blanket for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't. Reduce your anxiety. I don't often need them. I mean, but I like having them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because they make me feel secure. Uh, yeah. That's marriage. What? Sorry. Is what? It, is it, is it that's what? that's <laughs> marriage. What? That is okay. marriage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, All right, let's ask about Tim Timmons. Yeah. Oh uh, yes, Tim Timms. How, yeah, buddy. How was your weekend, Tim? My weekend was was just fine. It was oh, just nice. fine. That's oh, nice. Tim speak for nice. nope. Yeah, it nice. was really hard. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tim. Yeah, yeah. Tim Timms. He does not want to relive it. Yeah. yeah. No. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, so how about but our, our gathering of time was really great. Yeah, that it was really was. The the music beautiful. was awesome. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, watched, you did a really did good you watch job. Both of Susie Lynn, uh, Susie P. Lynn's sermons. Um, did you watch Journey um, All Morning? Um, yes, <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, and then and then what did she forget again? Remind me. Samar. Yeah, she forgot. That she you know, I just need you to know that as I was making that decision, <laughs> I knew I knew what the ramifications were going to be, <laughs> and I counted the cost. <laughs> yes. I did. I yes. counted the cost. I, yep. mm. I, I know it was. It was. You know. I, I know. Sending you the video. I knew it. I was um, like, yes. dang it. It's okay. He didn't call this time. Well, hey, did your dad tell you though, Seth? I yeah. forgot to tell people to stack and chat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so like oh, yeah. Ellen yeah. had to Ellen had to shout it out to yeah. me yeah. To, that yeah. you know don't forget stack and chat, and I oh, yeah. immediately was like, you guys, Seth is not here, yeah. and the yeah. whole yeah. thing's a mess. Yep. She said that. Shame. <laughs> All the shame so, attached Ronnie, to that. Way, way to go. I'm sorry. Way to go. We love Seth, you. Seth, you can't leave anymore. Oh, okay? sorry. Okay. No, no, sorry. <laughs> no, more, no more long drives. You have to be here. No, no more, more no, drive too long. No more drive too long. Okay. I, I did not. I did not. I did not. Yes. yes. So. Exactly right. Um, so we had a good weekend too, huh? Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, and we have one more shout out, and then our agenda is complete. Okay. Who are we shouting out today? B- a big shout out to Uncle Brad. Uncle Brad. Uncle oh, Brad. Thank so much. We miss him, huh? Yes. Oh. yes. Anything you want to say to Uncle Brad? Um, yes. Hey, Uncle Brad, the dose for you. This one's for you. Oh, he's hugging. Oh, oh, Brad. oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> An eye hug for oh. Uncle Brad. Oh, buddy. Great job. Um, yes. Hey, one last. I mean, what about you, Seth? What Did was you your have a good favorite weekend? part of your weekend? Um, my week is good. Uh, uh, so, first part, Nate Erie. Uh, Nate Erie, a uh, great Chick fil A. Chick fil A, obvious. Um, um, Nate Soccer Lost. Nate Soccer Lost. Oh, oh he's lost no. soccer. Yeah, but that was sad. Yeah, we're sad. We sad. Yeah, dang it. And next we have Wizard with Connor Brock. Yeah, we went to a restaurant with and, Connor and Brock. And best guest, right. drummer, please. Special guest, drum roll, please. Oh. Okay. Austin. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Nate's best friend, <laughs> Austin. Oh. Oh, that's so great. Oh, Kenyon. Kenyon. Yes, the Kenyans. Their own family was there. Yes. They, were, they happened to be there, but found out it was Nate's senior night. Oh, Joined that's us. so great. So cool. It was great. Yeah. Great yeah. job. Yes. Where did Seth, the dance job, party buddy. in the bathroom fit? Yeah. Yeah. I can dance. I can dance. Yeah, you can. I can dance. (laughs) Yes, you can. Yeah, so Sethi and I are together today. Yeah. Because it is is what? Erection day. Erection day. Oh, that's one way to look at it. That's right. That is this day. Or election day. Yes. Or not. Yes. Yes. You know what's up, Bob? (laughs) That's right, Bob. What are we electing? Yes. What are we electing? What are we voting for today? A for a good government. The government. A nice state. Of the United yeah, States. Yeah, that's so right, buddy. That's so good. The yes. government, we're yeah. voting so for the... So when you hear this, if we're all still here... Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll, the, I hear there's a there. chance we won't be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Another know. another yeah. hurricane? People. I mean, there, yeah. there is that actually. There is that. <laughs> there is that. Oh, and it's it. actually Wait. supposed to hit landfall on Thursday, which is the day oh, this really? comes out. Yeah. Is there another oh, hurricane? Yeah, there's Dang another it. one. Dang, I'm it's kept up. I don't know where it's hitting. I just heard oh. it on the news today that there's hurricane another Susie. hurricane coming. Well, no, no, no. They don't name them. Susie. Depends on who wins. <laughs> they don't name them. Oh, Susie. I don't fair. think so. That's fair. Why? Susie's just too common of a name. It's oh. not though. I mean. It's not with a Z. No. Um, Zara, now is Zara. Yeah. Zara Wasn't hurricane? So Isn't the government hurricane? controlling the, the hurricanes? Yeah. Isn't so, the government controlling I mean, the hurricanes? I mean, that's what I hear. Yeah, yeah, so why they can name them whatever they want. That's true. Why that's do they true. keep hitting red states? I, I, I don't, don't know. Understand. I don't <laughs> either. You do the math. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, Tim's hat today, not blank. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Me, I'm a volunteer. Yep. <laughs> this is a posture that Tim has in life. Yep. He yep. says, I'm here for your use. Yeah. And so Tim... Yes. Um, one of the things I, I really admire about you is uh, that you volunteer for things. Thank you. Yeah, because and, and you're willing to be asked. Yes. So let me let me ask you <laughs> this question. Yeah. <laughs> when do you put up your Christmas decorations? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. Today is Christmas Eve. We are, uh, yes. Oh, we put Might as well be. Today is Christmas Eve. Yes. Yeah. Today. Erection day and yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas Eve. <laughs> Um, Mike, we have not started yet, and I would probably not put up any de- Christmas decorations if it were up to me. Ever. Ever. But Ever. that's that's just scarring from my childhood. Okay. I had an incredible childhood up to a certain point, but even before then, um, what, what, I just... What was it? What was it? I, we was just... Scarring? It was just... It's I didn't scarring. want to get out all those things because then you'd have to put it back. It's, that's fair. It was yeah. so inconvenient. And it I was like, I had to stop Christmas playing. Yes. <laughs> yes. I had to stop playing with my friends. <laughs> yeah. And I probably had to put up like three things and I was so frustrated by that. So that's now thinking about my children when I ask them to do one thing and they're like, oh, you're like oh. one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they'll be scarred at some point. For that so, one thing. Yeah, for that one thing. One so well, anyway, well, ask somebody else because I'm not a good. Years, they'll be saying, yeah, my dad never let us put up Christmas decorations. It was like totally. such, a, such a joyless. <laughs> bah humbug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I, my figure, here, here's how I figure it. Mm. Is your tree uh, up? Uh, it's 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 sitting there ready. Okay. To be up. Okay. So, so, fake tree. You're a fake tree. Yeah. We don't need to kill more real trees, guys. <laughs> yep. The world uh, needs more real trees. Yeah. Okay. Well. First of all, we always uh, put up a when, real tree. When, we do too. When yeah. we decide to turn off the sun yeah. at five o'clock. Right. Mm. Oof. I like the extra light. Yeah. That's why I like. I just like yeah. having mm. that. For, and we can leave it up for two months. So we get full two months out of it, which 
goes, you know, to the, I don't want to drag this out and put it away and mm. whatever. We're ready for it to be done mm-hmm. in January. <laughs> like, we're good. Um, but, huh. uh, but thirdly, there have been studies done that show that people who put up Christmas decorations early are happier than people who don't. And I believe quite that. honestly, I'm experiencing that to be true right wow. now. And, that could be totally true. And and so anyway, I, yeah. I didn't mean to bring up. But yeah, yeah. You said ask me. Yeah. And um and Susie, um yeah we we've commented on Susie. Susie will swap out. You some have com- commented on <laughs> Susie. That's fair. Every year since we've yep. been friends. That's fair. <laughs> well, I just I thought there'd be more. I, just, I know. I guess I held out hope that of Are all. Are you a of minimalist? Us, I mean, no, but but Mike really like he has been for the last few years on a campaign to try to get me to decorate more and earlier. Yeah, huh. and yeah. It, can I say? Has it worked? Which is a conflict because my husband doesn't like anything until right. after Thanksgiving, yeah. and, and so I feel this like the house. heavy like yeah. you know on would, both sides of my. Would ears. you do it earlier if Steve was up for it? Uh, and are you voting the same as him? Yeah, oh, that's where I was going. That's yeah. where I was going. Yeah, yeah. Does he control the vote yeah. uh, on Christmas right, right, right. and other things? I think right, right. you should ask Steve that question. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, no, he does not control the vote. I vote for who I want. Yes. Oh, that's, that seems logical yes. to me. Yeah. Shady. Yeah. But actually, this year, I was going to tell you about this, because this year, we had this whole conversation about certain Christmas decorations should remain up all year. And this was my son, Nathan, was pitching for this. And he was saying that if they are white twinkly lights, they should remain up all Uh, year. The colorful ones should not go up until after Thanksgiving because that's aggressive. (sighs) That's some great. Aggressive. That's That's what he said. That's some great Mm -hmm. thinking right there. I know. Here's the reason, Susie. First of all, you are light. Mm. So so Uh, I want a house that reflects. Making up now. (laughs) Colorful? Or? She's both. Right. She's very colorful. Wow. Bright light. And... And she's white light, not in an ethnic sense. Right. <laughs> um, just in a joyful soul sense. Yeah. Secondly, you're one of the most hospitable people in the history Aww, of the world. Thanks. And and there's mm-hmm. nothing like a well decorated mm-hmm. house. Lit. I agree. That well lit, well decorated, yeah. smells like the holidays. That yeah. just yeah. says, Come come in, yeah. enjoy some um, Iranian soup. <laughs> soup. And- and is there such a thing? Yes. Okay. And, <laughs> Good call there, buddy. Yeah. And, and just I try sense. to get Mike to eat Iranian food. <laughs> How's that going Imagine for you? Imagine how it goes. Yeah. It's now, like trying to get me to yeah. eat it. Now, yeah. Kevin's love of Christmas is, is well-worn on yeah, the yeah, podcast, yeah, yeah. Yes, so yeah. there's no need, no yeah. need to... To talk there. No. Kevin's is that going what I'm going to become? <laughs> yes. huh? Is that what I'm going to become? Is that you're, you're on are. the trajectory? Oh, you're, on, you're, it. Co- you're on the trajectory. You're in good company. Pray for me, people. Yes, yeah. you're in good company. Yeah, yeah. It's and and, and I, the only thing better for Kevin uh, than Christmas season is being Christmassy in New York City. Oh yeah, that's way up there. Because there's it's it's just a few people <laughs> yeah. hanging yeah. out. Yeah. yeah, very calm. Yeah, not crowded at all. At all. You love that. Yeah. I love Christmas in New York. I know you do. <laughs> and I'm not sure I see the Lord. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I, I don't get it. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Everyone's and, welcome at the And table. the sad mm-hmm. thing about it is, I've done it a few times because I, I, I am like, okay, let's go. Yeah, like I'm, I'm compliant. Let me ask you a question. Get off my You're lawn, good, Santa. Good father yes. is what I'm you a good, are. Good yeah. father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Yeah. How long do you think it would take you to complete the New York City Marathon? I mean, just well, I mapped in it, days it, or hours. If I walked it, I just well, yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever. Yeah, twenty. I can walk. I could probably walk it in twenty minute miles. Okay, that's. I mean, that's a great pace. So, where would that be in the list? About of eight hours. Five? Okay, eight hours, and that's without the fireball. Every <laughs> yeah, no. with or without. No, I would actually get the okay, beer. Okay. I would get the, okay. the beer and the yeah. licorice. Yeah. And the licorice. Okay. Right. There's a bunch of the options there. I would have said that. Right into can my... you imagine Kevin running a marathon and stopping for beer and licorice? Yes. Yeah, actually, yes. I can. That would be yeah. I actually can do that. I mean, like, imagine like that's, what it would That's a metaphor for his so whole funny. ministry. Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> it actually fits perfectly. Yes. Now, as the only one here, I think, who's run a marathon, I want to tell you my marathon story, Please. ladies and gentlemen. I Please. ran the L.A. Marathon. L.A. Is with it Scott flat? Rachel's uh, back in the day. Yep, is it LA. flat or is it hilly? You know what? There was one very large hill. Okay. Otherwise, it was flat and it was like 85 degrees and no clouds. Oh, wow. brutal sun. Oh. They have a division 
<coughs> I didn't know this in the Clyde, so you sign up for Clydesdale. Clydesdale division. Exactly. Yep. Way to ruin my uh, joke there. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm if just... you're over 250 pounds, <laughs> you register for the Clydesdale -uh. division. I don't know yes. what that means. What does that mean? Okay, that means you're a horse. The Bud Light horses <laughs> oh, yes. that are yeah. like the, the plotters. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like they pull, yes, thank you, Sethi. Show there it them, is. Yep. Show them, Sethi. That's really a thing? Yeah. Yeah, the Clydesdale. No, I didn't know that either until I did well in the Clydesdale division. Gosh. I finished in like 4.30, which was a terrible. Mm -hmm. I think, That's I think really good. 4.30 is good. Well, that was that was 20 years and a lot of pounds ago. But did you run the whole time? I did. Hmm. I did. How were your the feet last when that six, was over? Oh, torn up. Oh, yeah. The last six miles, I would walk through the aid station so that I could make sure to get multiple mm -hmm. things of Gatorade or whatever. But yeah, I ran the whole thing, which was absolutely crazy yeah but <coughs> the Clydesdale division is real okay first oh, of all for sure and what it's was thing. Cool, what was cool about LA uh, and I'm sure it was like New York but it, it would go through all of like it went through Koreatown seven and went they through, went through all the boroughs all five yes. boroughs yep <coughs> it's like this very cool tour sort of, of town co communal yeah. communal thing but I will never forget I thought you know they they have pacers so you can like track with a pacer mm -hmm. if you yeah. follow mm -hmm. this particular person and if you're from the 70s that's a funny little amc car with lots of windows we called them window wagons he calls them pacers but... mm. yes console and so, so council Ke kevin council. yep yeah. exactly right the mm -hmm. council of god yeah um there it is <clears throat> excuse me so one of the things that was funny is we're running mm. 10 10 minute 10 20 miles yeah which you know fairly that's great. -ish. I mean, but I got passed multiple times. I don't know how it happened multiple times by a guy running barefoot in an Elvis suit, dragging a cooler of beer. <laughs> this is why I'm telling this story. It was, and he's in a full, oh. the wig, oh, yeah. the full rhinestone there were, suit, yep. but, holding a cooler but of, barefoot? of paps. Yes. It, there were several people who were running barefoot. Yes. That's the best he could do? Yes. Oh my word. So, so I just thought that, in summary, yeah, is a microcosm. There were mm. Statue of Liberties running by. That makes sense. Yeah. There were painted on Statue of Liberties, probably. Oh, it's people holding torches though, yeah. like, and I'm like, that's wild. You're gonna do that for the next four and a half hours, five that's a hours? A lot of effort. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> There were, oh, the, the costumes were spectacular. And then there were some people running by, and I'm going, like, you're going to die. I think you're actually going to die in this race. Yeah? Yeah. Cause were they, they Clydesdale? They, oh, no. Clydesdale? Just just people that obviously should not be running. This, well, I mean, that's, that is don't you have to the subtitle one? of the Clydesdale nope, division. Nope, you have yes. to pay to be in sure. it. And if you're a part of a running club in New York, you Ooh. can... Oh, you can get in. How, so it's 55,000 runners. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Well, good for Alyssa, man. Yeah, yeah she she's did thrilled. It. Yeah, loved it. That's a huge accomplishment. It is yeah. mm. second marathon. She ran the Na Nashville one a few years ago. Nice. Yep, I love that. And she told me after she was done running that one, "Tell me to never do this again." I said, "Okay." Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, as that, my mama would say, "Yeah, mm. if you're gonna be dumb, yeah. you got to be tough." Yes, that's right. That's, that's that's a song, isn't it? That, that is a song. Yeah, that is my autobiography. <laughs> oh. And, and I feel and like it's the story of the my ministry. Running. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's yes. funny. Yeah, I feel like that's in Defesians. Yes. Oh, Sethi, get over here. <laughs> oh, Sethi. Look at Seth. I mean, look at Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or 26 minutes in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Defesians. Oh, baby. You got to see it on Thank YouTube. You, Thank you, Seth. Thank you, buddy. Defesians. You got to see it on YouTube. That's Thank you, Seth. And, yes. and, the, and the, the noise you're going to hear in the background, these <laughs> yeah. are the floppies. Yeah. Yes. And if you don't know what a floppy is, these are ribbons. They're the <laughs> insoles of up. shoes. Yep. There they are. And and they help uh, manage in a, in a straw, and, and they help just manage sensory input and a folded up uh, laundry basket that That's he calls amazing. the trash can. That makes the colors pop. Yes, thank you, Sethi. So yes, go to YouTube and you yep. can. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, yep. He calls that the trash can. <laughs> he calls it the trash can. Yeah, nice. So he said, "Dad, today I bring trash can to church Perfect. to Journey Church." Yeah. So. Speaking of trash can, mm. ladies and gentlemen, we Speaking talked about of yeah. Mm -hmm. We talked about prayer. Yes, and so we hit it. Kevin took a run at it. Yeah, Susie took a run at it. Yeah, and um, and, and what was besides the Kindle not answering your prayer in that in that moment? <laughs> Hours. Yes, yes, exactly right. Hour of need. 
what were some of the responses you got um, after or in the middle of or on the text line? Or because I know you didn't you didn't yeah. do I didn't, didn't do, do questions because I wanted to leave space for us to actually pray. I love that. And Such a smart move. I think some of the the consistent responses I got were that um, it was helpful for people to hear another way to pray because yeah. I think for a lot of us it's hard to know how to pray um, so that was good um, and especially like I think it was at the first one I mentioned that it could be a model of prayer for people we love as well mm. as our enemies so because you know we say pray for your yeah pray for our enemies but, then, but we yeah. don't really know exactly how to pray for our enemies yeah. God but, destroy them yeah mm -hmm. that's yeah. not what we have <laughs> right. in mind there yep. oh, yeah yep you yeah. take their blessing away. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that was something consistent. And then also, like, I kind of tied it to the moment that we find ourselves in yes. currently. Because Ephesians is, the whole thrust of Ephesians is, is unity um, among the body of Christ. Mm. And, um, you know, everything about this cultural moment that we find ourselves in, particularly today, is disunity yeah literally and, today yeah but i mean like there's so there's so much rhetoric going on i mean ephesians is is about like you know diversity coming together in in unity like ethnic diversity socioeconomic diversity and Come all on. of that coming together with the one thing everybody has in common and that's their allegiance mm -hmm. to christ mm -hmm. and like there is so much anti that happening now on mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. not just one particular side of right. the political spectrum but in you know on, on every side and like no one is getting out of this unscathed no one group of people so it's like men women latinos african americans when you say unscathed what do you mean like every people group has been quote unquote provoked provoked Got yeah like it. every people group has a reason to be mad a reason to be offended a reason to be mm -hmm. hurt you know all of that yeah so it's like you know taking our individual glasses off and mm -hmm. putting our collective community glasses on like this is this is the antithesis of what paul is saying mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. so many ways and so in order to pray you know towards you know hope Mm -hmm. And that one day all of that will go away, mm -hmm. you know, like even though we do what we can to come up against those powers and principalities that pro provoke racism and misogyny and all that stuff, like mm -hmm. there is hope that one day Christ will make it right again. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that we have this inheritance. We are his inheritance that we're to we're to, you know, exemplify that. And that we can do so because Christ's power is at work in us and through us. But every time we, every time we turn away from those things and turn towards and participate in the dehumanization of other people, in a sense, we're turning away from our inheritance and who we are. So I heard from several people that that was a really helpful way for them to frame the week mm. for them. Yeah. Have, you did know? you read any of the comments or the cards yet? I have not yet. Okay. Yeah. What was your prompt? Well, I I gave space for people to pray the three things, mm -hmm. you know, yep. hope, inheritance, and power, and to pray for themselves, but to pray for another person and a, and our community. Mm -hmm. And if they wanted to write their thoughts and prayers down, that they could, and that we would join them in that. So. Okay. Yeah. Which which we will be doing in a few minutes. Yeah. 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 Read yeah. those. Yeah. yeah. About fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, it was one of those things that like the study of it all was actually really helpful for me. That's you know? okay, that was my question because yeah. one of the things you both do a great job of Kevin and Susie is giving people permission to feel like I don't get this because you you so mm -hmm. honestly share about where you're Well, at. I gave people permission to not believe it. Yeah. Because I mean, it's yeah. just so I mean, especially the words that he uses in that passage are so lofty. Mm -hmm. And so like by the time lofty. I was done giving the content mm -hmm, like even mm -hmm. as i was talking i was like yeah like these are all like really great words that if you grew up in church you've heard all of these words but yeah. like i don't actually believe these things all of the time so what jumped out at you during your study that because this is well-worn territory all of us have heard about talked mm -hmm. about well-worn yeah well, well, well just you you started to to say it even before i asked the question mm -hmm. what was it that the study of it 
kind of helped or clarified or so centered you? I would say like in for a long time, I would hear I've been to so many, you know, conferences and heard so many messages preached where the words like the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is in you. And like, basically, it's like a cheerleading anthem. Like you can Ooh. do whatever yeah. it is that you want. I can do all things through a verse taken out of context. You can do that God's called you to. You can yeah. become great. Yeah. You can have influence. You can yeah. impact the kingdom, like right. all this stuff, because the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is the same power that's in you. Yeah. And I've always like heard it through individual eyes mm -hmm. but when when you hear about it spoken to a community of people that like that power is at work in a community not i mean yes i am part of the community so in a sense it does work its way through me you know at times but the power of the power is in the community yeah and so as he's talking the whole book is the whole letter of Ephesians is about the formation of a community, the identity of a community. And then when you think about the power of God through this community and the potential it has to cultivate and curate and to stir up hope, mm. you know, yeah. and bring glory to God. And then the sense of glory being like divine participation in his activity on the earth. Right. Like, that was really profound to me. And mm -hmm. I just, I felt very like, I felt a smallness, you know, that um, in a different way than I have in a long time. Just like a smallness of like, okay, you know, like I'm a part of this thing. And then like you think about, I'm kind of a church history dork. And so you think about like, so he wrote this letter to these people in Ephesus and Laodicea and, and then you think about that whole region and it was at the time it was under Roman rule mm -hmm. and eventually Christianity becomes nationalized there. Right. And then eventually it gets conquered by the Muslims. Yeah. And so what lies ahead of these people at the time of receiving this letter mm. is interesting to think about in light of the things that we are so, and I mean we like collectively as a nation, okay. are afraid of mm. you know yeah so all that was super interesting mm. to me well it's interesting the power it he is. talks mm -hmm. about he frames it <clears throat> not as triumph but as triumph through suffering and defeat yeah you know and so americans are totally willing to claim mm -hmm. the end result right but the, but the 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 Process. suffering and defeat mm -hmm. not interested Right, and yeah. so I love that he specifies what that power, yeah, what that power did. Mm -hmm. You know that it that it did change defeat mm -hmm. or defeasions yeah. into victory. You know, or he right. chose death, or he transformed death to life. I mean, that right. kind of thing. But yeah. yeah, but it's in the midst of awful mm -hmm. that the power is put on display. It's not the mm. avoidance of awful. Yeah. Mm. Which, right. And that's not to say that it's always awful. I mean, there's all these wonderful times where it's not awful. But I think, like you said, we don't want to receive the suffering and we don't want to receive the weakness and the defeat Yeah. when, you know, that's that doesn't have the last word. And so, right. like, I want to be a person who, even though those things may come my way and most likely will come my way in some shape or way or form, that that... I'm, I'm going to walk into those spaces knowing that they will never have the last word, you right. know, even like as we think about like, you know, our friends who are suffering in their health, like mm -hmm. you look at somebody who's in a hospital bed, who's like entire body is, has, you know, havoc has been wreaked upon. Yeah. And to look at that person and think like, there's no way any of this is going to have the last word is just really like that's where faith becomes what it is <laughs> tangible yeah i yeah. mean like it either yeah. is or it isn't right. you know so yeah. i don't know it was in the midst of all of that that in in like reading and studying and praying and thinking about it all that it really deeply ministered to me mm -hmm. so yeah i love the context you gave from acts mm -hmm. um of Paul talking in Acts to the Ephesians. When he said then, goodbye to them. Then coming back a few mm -hmm. years later with this letter. That was that even helps me mm -hmm. 
just with context reading Defesians. Yeah, yes. it's great. So, Todd, you frame up the inheritance. Did you add the? Uh, did you frame it up as hope? Did you frame it up as um, in your reading and study, or was it part of the also the defeat? Is a, is part of our struggle, part of our inheritance? Um, I framed up inheritance as part of our identity because it says that we're his inheritance. It's his inheritance, his holy people. Mm -hmm. So not necessarily what we get, but who we are. There you go. Yeah. Go preach. So. Which go. was just, I mean, which is a lot of your message last mm -hmm. week. Or, well, it's what's yeah. Paul saying the whole yeah, time. Yeah. 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 The yeah. church stands not only as a monument of triumph through mm -hmm. suffering. Yeah, the suffering of Jesus and the suffering of the church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it stands as a monument of, um, oh, what were we just talking about? What did you inheritance. Say? Inheritance, yeah. yeah. That we are. That the, the end result of that whole process mm -hmm. is what God then enjoys. Yeah. Which and I think crazy. before before yeah. I like really deeply studied Ephesians, um, I think I always thought about that book as a really great place to go. The letter, not book. The letter was a great place to go to understand what my identity is in Christ and all that I have received mm -hmm. right. in my inheritance as yeah. a co-heir with Christ. Right. But I've I never looked at it as like it's not what I receive; it's who I am as God's inheritance, mm -hmm. and ha not even who I am, but who we are yeah, as yeah. God's inheritance. And yeah. so I always received it so individualized mm -hmm. and so like what I get rather than who we are and what we what we're meant to bring mm -hmm. to the earth. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. it, that just completely last year changed how I saw it. Mm -hmm. It was. Pretty well, it changes opinion. the way you experience mm -hmm. church. Yeah. If if you embody that and you understand it and you go, okay, I gotta, mm -hmm. I gotta navigate my individualism in the middle of a community yeah. that allows for, or actually, this community is the inheritance. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not me that's the inheritance. It's it's the remnant yeah. of, of of the church. So speaking of inheritance, oh, Seth Erie. Yeah. Come back up here, son. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he's like, oh, about time. I've been yeah. ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> Seth Erie. Yes. Um, mm. Your birthday, when's yeah. your birthday? My birthday is December 26th. December 26th. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. How old will you be? I could be 16. Six. Really? Wow. Yeah, ridiculous. Wow. Ridiculous. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to get seriously cry. You're going to make Susie cry because yep. you're so old now? Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. She yeah. hugs with her yeah, yeah. eyes. She doesn't cry yes. with her eyes. Oh, yes. I cry with my eyes. Okay. I, <laughs> I was just saying it. 16. The reason I bring it up, Seth, because your inheritance for your birthday and Christmas this year. Yeah. You've got a you've got a list. Yeah. Of, I've got a list. Yeah, of what you would like. And um, I thought maybe we'd close yes. and then oh, have a GoFundMe. Okay. So, <laughs> so <laughs> sixteen uh, driver's license. Yeah. Huh? Well, there, that's something. Um, okay. So, what would you like? Oh, it, <laughs> okay. I can yeah. give a microphone one more quick. Yeah. So, yeah. first of all, um, uh, Fabies. Yeah, you want floppies. Well. Ribbons. Mm -hmm. And what? Ribbons? And ribbons. Yeah, ribbons, dude. And um, uh, Which is a subcategory of floppies. Floppy. Yeah, yeah. Guitar. Yeah, guitar. Yep. With amps. With an amp. Yes. Wow. I get doing, I get yes. saying, postcard propaganda. So okay, um, duh. Postcard propaganda, band, little band yep. here. He can sing those songs in our house, which wow. we're looking forward to. Yes. Wow. And what else? Um, Remember the one other thing? Um, the, the, the baby doll. No, not a baby doll. Good try. <laughs> what is it? Is Poeno. Not Poeno. Let's do piano. Piano. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, so we want a piano. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and microphone. A microphone, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So... Yeah, so it'll be great. That's we, awesome. We, so we're doing a worship. Are we having uh, yeah. a birthday party? Um, yes. What are we going to do for your birthday? I could do Susie's house. Yeah. Susie's house? We yeah. can have I mean, a party at my house. I mean, party she, house. she might have her decorations up the day after Christmas. Yes. Oh, Absolutely. for sure. Um, yes. What, and, but, but we have some other ideas too, right? Yeah. We always go to, to eat. 
I go to Wab Poppin. Red Robin, guys. Oh. Yeah, nothing but the finest of dining. Where is there one around here anymore? Uh, Spring Hill. Spring Hill. Okay. Oh, did the one over by the mall close? Oh, yeah. It did. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that mall is a ghost town, ladies and gentlemen. But it, it did have a Red Robin. Now we have to yes. travel. So wow. it's the joy of the hour long drive. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Round yeah. trip. Yeah. Yes. To get, to get the Robin. Yes. Yes? That's not the Yes, sir. Long no, it is for dad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But it's not for Steffi. Uh, uh, all right. Do, should we do Shema and Susie blew it? Yes. All right, here we go, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. Yep, ready? Oh, here you go. Shema Israel, Adonai Elohim, Adonai Echad, Hero Israel, I Lord our God, I Lord the Lord, love the Lord your God, for your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor. Love yourself. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Haba. Thank you. Haba. Thank you. Hey. 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 Oh, oh, oh. hey. Nice uh, job. Well. That's the best ending we've had. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Great job, Steph. Steph. Good job, buddy. Next is the best Steph meeting. Steph meeting. Thanks for listening to this episode of Journey Now. If for some bizarre reason you liked it, Help us spread the word by leaving a review and sharing it on your socials. Journey Now is a production of Journey Church in Brentwood, Tennessee. Edwin Rivera III produces the show and fixes all the guests slurping, gum chewing, coughing, and other annoying sounds. Randy Hansen provides technical assistance even though he denies it. Grant Opperman edits Journey Now and intervenes when necessary to tell the crew that you can't say that. Special shout out to dear listener Brad Erie and dear YouTube watcher Seth Erie. If there's anyone else who makes it through each week, we're so sorry, and thanks to you too.